All right, we're getting ready to get started on the chicken coop again. Woo! It's cold again here in southwestern PA. It is cold. You can hear the heater in the background trying to warm up the garage. We're going to get started on the rest of this chicken coop. Uh, we got a bunch of it done. I wanted to show you. Got the heater over here kicking. Oh, it's it's kicking. Got to warm this place up. In the last video, we got well the first video. We got most of all that put together. And I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, door. Uh, I did a separate video on just that door because. A lot of people ask me about the door, so I wanted to do a separate video on just the door, and I think it turned out really nice. So, uh, as soon as we get this garage warmed up, we're going to get started. starting to work my way around this side and I need a big door right here this big door is going to be used to clean out the inside of the chicken coop you have to have a way to get in and out of there so I want a big door on this side in case we have to work on that string put that string back in there for the door or work on the door itself so this is going to be a big door. Now I cut that board that went all the way across the bottom out of here. That way if we're scraping out, say we got a hoe or something and we want to scrape the, the stuff out of the chicken coop, it won't be getting caught on this board. So I'm just going to work my way across this side and uh, get this door put in.
What I'm doing now is just marking out the holes where the nesting boxes will be. And we're just drawing our circles. I'm making these circles about eight inches, eight, eight and a quarter inches round. And we'll take a jigsaw and cut these out. And this is where our nesting boxes will be. Now I left my boxes about four inches up from the bottom of this. That way hopefully not all of our nesting material will end up out there. So I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting these circles out. Now I have no support behind there. Just what's on the bottom and on the top. But we'll work on that as we go here. Now these holes don't have to be perfect. I mean it is just a chicken coop. But that's how I'm cutting mine out. So that's where our nesting boxes are going to go. Right off the back. We're going to have three. Now I don't know if you know it. But uh, three boxes will hold nine chickens. You need one box per three chickens. So we're only going to have six. So we got more than enough chicken uh, nesting boxes. Okay, my nesting boxes on the back here, this board right here is going to flop open. Instead of lifting the roof, because it's always so hard to get them sealed up here, the roof, instead of opening the roof, I'm just going to have a little board here with a latch on it and I'll be able to open the hole. This board here will open. Now we'll fill in the bottom of that. Uh, we got our 12 by 12 nesting boxes in here. We got three of them. Which they say you need at least one box per three chickens. So we got three, we can go up to nine chickens. Alright, this is how the door is going to work. Really simple. Just 
unlatch it, pull it down, and open it up. Now you can get your eggs right from there. Uh, I think that's better than lifting the top. Then you want to close it, just take it up and push it over to the one side, and it has a lock. It locks right in there, it won't come down. I think that'll work out just fine to be able to get the eggs out of the boxes. Simple, simple. Well guys, when I started this build, it was freezing in here. You guys remember I built the fire, it was so cold. Well, Brandon come down and give me a hand. We need to try to get this chicken coop done. And I need to get it out of my garage. It's been probably about three weeks since I started this, maybe even four since we got the chicken. So, uh, apologize about the video and taking so long to build it, but I'll get them posted and I'll keep them in a playlist for you guys to watch. But we're going to try out the new gu uh, air gun here. Brandon is. It's the air uh, yeah. And we're just going to work on this bottom piece here. I think. Maybe about there. Just go straight in with it. Okay. Yep. We'll go right on down through there. Just a couple more. And a couple here. That's a nail gun. I need a safety glass. I probably should. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting our run fixed up here, and uh, this is actually four foot from here back to the building. And I wanted to keep it that size because of uh, the wire that we're going to be putting on here is two foot wide. So we'll be able to roll that wire right over the top of this, and we're going to have a nice little. Uh, run for the chickens and they'll be able to go underneath of this too which is pretty cool but we're going to make a door uh, i'm going to build a door for the front of this so we'll be able to get in and out from this side in case something happens in there you never know you might end up with a dead chicken and you got to get in there to get it and we don't want to have to flip the whole coop over to get in there so we'll put a little door here so we can go in and out so it's looking good we got some gussets to put in and we're going to work on this front door next Normally don't sink it in that far, but. All right, Brandon's putting the gussets in, and man, we put a lot of gussets in this thing. Uh, hopefully, it don't go nowhere. Brandon thinks it's built like a tank, <laughs> so we're just putting them blocks of wood in there to keep it nice and sturdy. Especially if we're going to be moving it around, you know, you want to make sure it don't fall apart. That's for sure. chicken coop we're not worried about that so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the roost uh, while we have the roof off it's going to be much easier to put the roost in now and then we'll do the roof after we put the roost and everything in so all I did was get two scrap pieces of uh, your pallet wood and uh, a stick you know we don't got to buy this piece here we can just get it out of the woods cut it and we're going to slide it in this slot that I cut in this wood here. So we're going to go ahead and get these put in here. And then we'll get it slid down in. Alright, I just put my little, I just put them little boards on the sides. And then put our little roost up there. And I think it looks pretty good. I don't think them chickens will have any problems with that. They should be okay. Hopefully I don't have it too high. I don't think so, but hopefully not. I wanted to clear that door down there because they'll be going in there to lay eggs. Now what we've done here, we just put a, just a scrap piece of Luan on the top of there. I didn't really want bees to get in there and make nest or anything. So, because our eggs, we'll be getting them out when we open this little guy here. We'll get our eggs from there. Is there there's a board on along here. Yeah, it comes out a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay. Hopefully I'm not hitting it. <laughs> Now what we'll 
do is we'll just put our metal right on top of that. Yeah. We'll just put our metal right on top of it. All right, I just cut a little uh, one of the boards off about six inches or so here so we could have air going in and out of here and light. Uh, we'll probably put a little latch or something on this, but I think that'll work out pretty good. So they'll get a little bit of light in the morning going in and some air. And then me and Julie worked on this uh, little guy here. And I don't know how steep this little ramp is supposed to be but that's a piece of oak pallet wood and we just cut these about seven inches uh, little treads and then if we go to move this i just put some uh little couple eye bolts up there and i bent them so they hook so we can take that out of there when we move the coop and just lay it on top of the coop when you move it pretty simple nothing to it i just fancy. yeah nothing fancy just a little a little ramp for the chickens to go in and out. I don't think it looks too bad. I hope they can climb it. Mm. They should. They climb roost. They yeah, get up on a okay. roost. Yeah. Okay, we got our little chicken coop door on here. And that's so we got a big opening so we could reach in there and drag all the stuff out of there. And I didn't leave a lip here because of that because when you're dragging that out you want to make sure you can get it all the way out of your coop so the door is actually all pallet wood me and julie just just no, we just yeah. we just scabbed it together basically i mean uh you know, i did liquid nail all this yeah. we liquid nailed all that on so it's nailed with the brad nailer and liquid nailed it's coming together though yeah it's looking good we got our little screen on the inside of our door. door there to give them a little bit of air Winter time you might close it or then again winter time. I might just put a piece of plexiglass over that so, uh, You know what I mean just to so they can have a little light But it is coming together. It's looking better All right, what me and Julie's doing now is we're just laying the old pallet wood and the coops actually built just wide enough that the pallet wood don't need cut We're just laying it right across the top and over the other side and the reason why it's because we're going to put metal over top of this. I just needed something to screw my metal to. And I think this will work out fine. And I won't have to buy anything. We'll just use that old pallet wood. It'll be underneath the metal. You can see we got the front door on there now. Right. We just, just ain't got the wire on it. Uh, that's going to make a nice decent sized door to get up in there. If anything happens you need to get in there. You'll be able to get in there to take the ramp out. The only thing we really got left to do is the metal on the roof. And the wire on the box here so that's that's about it just got to put the wire I see yeah the door I like the door the little door turned out really nice everything is turning out pretty nice Angel yeah. although you know we talked about the string break and the string broke <laughs> I so it. we got to restring yeah. that string let's see if I can get a little better I might even look for a piece of cable something yeah real fine cable something really fine so well, a piece of, um, cord, like a, like a, i don't know something, something. but anyhow we're going to restring that thing put the metal on it all the roofs will get metal put over top of it. you can see i got the metal laying over there mm -hmm. i just uh, haven't got it on there yet all right when we started this video freezing cold southwestern pa was freezing i'm telling you i had the fire going everything right now i'm sweating like you wouldn't believe uh, it's super hot. It's about, I don't know, it's pretty early in the morning right now. Let's see what time it is. It's 721. I've been out here since early this morning. I've been working in the barn. Uh, we're going to try to get the roof done in this video and the wire put on. And uh, that should be just about it. So we'll see how this goes here.
one thing I have to be really careful with is the, you know, the grandkids in these sharp corners. So I'm going to round these off. And then I'll take a file or a piece of sandpaper. That way they don't get poked with that. I'll do that to every sharp edge on this chicken coop. We don't want nobody getting their eye poked or anything like that. See, that makes it a lot nicer. We'll use a little sandpaper on it. Now, for the ridge vent, I just had an old piece of metal out back, and I just cut it and put it across the top. Uh, instead of paying $20-some dollars for a ridge vent, I had this old piece over here. It was an old one where me and Julie was doing the... I don't know, I think we were working on uh, some signs, how to make this metal rust and everything, the galvanized steel. And uh, we had some pieces left. And I just thought I'd bend it right over the top and put it down. Uh, I don't think it has to be perfect. It's a chicken coop. You know what I mean? So instead of paying the extra $20 for that, I just bent that piece over the top. Now we're going to cut some for the top of this thing. And then we'll be ready to put the wire on it. All right, me and Julie just put the wire on. Julie helped me with the wire. By far, I think the wire was the hardest thing to build or to put on. Uh, those little staples, I had to use a little pair of pliers to hold the uh, staple while I beat them in because my fingers are so big, but Julie said she was having a hard time too. So the wire was probably the hardest thing to put on. So we got the metal roof on. Basically, the chicken coop is done. The chickens can be put in here, no problem at all. Um, I'm gonna try to do a wheel kit for this so I can move it around a little bit. Uh, but that'll be in the next video uh, on the chicken coop build. And like I said, I'll put all these videos um, in a playlist so you guys can watch them all. I think it turned out fairly nice. I think it turned out pretty good uh, the little door opens and closes nice I, I don't know about the run going up into there I, I thought that was okay that's all oak hopefully it works it's a little steep all right that's the chicken coop it's all finished I hope you guys enjoyed this part so far uh, next part we'll do the wheels uh, the wheel kit for it uh, no. I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.